Hello guys, it's Kevin, State and Code Track Insurance. In today's video, we'll talk about couple typical broker scams that are happening out there. Hopefully you've never been a victim of one. And if you are, uh, hopefully you're sharing that information in social media. You're talking to your friends and other truckers, just letting them know, you know, to be aware of certain situations and certain broker scams that are out there. The one of the most common ones is when you have a, a brand new broker that no, nobody ever heard of. And in the United States, there are probably, I don't know, 100,000 of different brokers. And some are big, well-known, established brokerages. But a broker can be just a one-man show. Um, can be somebody, you know, and it's legitimate business. They're just sitting in their bedroom and brokering the deals that they're finding for the shippers and then placing with the carriers like yourself. So the most common scam happens with those smaller brokers where you're, you know, you're looking for the loads and you find one that, hey, seems like they have some decent loads and the pay is good, but you know, you don't do much of the due diligence. You sign up with that broker, you deliver that load. And then as weeks go by or as months go by, you're trying to get paid and you realize that that broker cannot be found or they're like out of business. Um, and after probably some time, you kind of like come to realization that this whole operation was set up as a fraud and that was their whole purpose and their whole goal. They were just, you know, established, got up and running, probably scammed, I don't know, dozen or a couple dozen truckers because typically those scams don't last long. As truckers realize what's going on, they'll post on social media, they'll talk to other truckers, they will report that broker, so they're forced to shut down. But then how they typically uh, survive is they'll go maybe different state, different municipality, and try to reopen that business under a different name, different tax ID number. So to kind of avoid those scams, it's important to be checking the company's Secretary of the State website, because each state uh, where the business is registered, you know, you can just look them up and see, first of all, you know, how long they've been in business. If it's just been like a couple of weeks, don't even waste your time. It's probably not the broker you want to do business with. And, you know, if they don't have much of online or social media presence and other truckers never heard of them, just stay away from that type of broker. Just sign up with the ones that everybody knows and everybody worked with. The second type of scam is a little bit more sophisticated. And, uh, and that's coming actually from the big brokers. And, and in, in those cases, the big brokers are also becoming victims of this more sophisticated scam because the way it works, let's say, you know, you've been running with three brokers for past 12 months and then you decide to sign up with this other larger broker that, you know, you heard from other people, they're well-known national firm, thousands of employees, been in business 20 plus years and it's... ABC brokerage and you reach out to them or maybe they already kind of like reached out to you and you start talking to John Doe and John Doe is an employee of that brokerage. He sends you that carrier package to complete and um, you go ahead and complete that package and then you're getting your first load to be delivered from Chicago to Dallas. You're excited. It's going to pay you $7,000. You deliver that load and a couple of weeks later, you try to contact that broker to, you know, to get paid and you could just, you can't get a hold of them. You can't find them. Um, then of course, you're probably going to call company's main 1-800 number. And um, as this scam, the way it kind of works is that uh, you're probably going to be told by um, other people within that brokerage firm is that, you know, who? John Doe? Um, cause one of our clients actually been in that situation. Um, you know, he called the 1-800 main number and, um, that ABC national brokerage firm basically told him that, Hey, John Doe doesn't work here. We never heard of this name, never seen this person. He's not an employee of ABC brokerage. Oh, and by the way, we actually got, um, five, six other calls this week, you know, people trying to, to get a hold of John Doe. So. What appears to, to have happened here is that, you know, John Doe just was able somehow to get the, the company's carrier packets. Um, and sometimes it can be, you know, 
might use company's logos and uh, maybe he used to work at that company in in the past or maybe there's some internal um other internal people that passing him that information so that person is basically representing himself as the employee of abc national brokerage firm but that person's not not part of that firm and and typically you know all that information that he provides um you know he's just using because you know that a lot of that brokerage information is publicly available and then when the time to get paid and you're contacting the company the company is basically well no we you know he provided you with the account information and all that but um you know he's not an employee and we never brokered that load so the way to kind of weed out those scams um first of all when they're sending you that carrier packet do not call the number that's provided in that carrier packet call the number that's on safer or on company's website um, make sure that you know you're contacting that company directly and just say hey by the way i'm talking to john doe he sent me that carrier packet i'm about to complete it just you know want to double check everything is 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 correct and and that cam can easily be that scam can easily be exposed because you know they'll tell you that hey this person doesn't work here you know that packet they sent you is bogus so you know do some due diligence and again talk to other truckers be prudent so you can you know save the money that you've been earning with your hard work and that's all for today please stay tuned for other videos do not forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time bye